Hey what's up guys welcome to this video. This video is based on the concept RDP, a virtual remote computer that you can access when needed to perform high performance tasks. Now about this project I'm gonna give a quick introduction why named Enigmano. The word Enigmano is forged by two names or two terms. One means mystery, the second in different languages means a hand. Concept here is supporting others mysteriously, helping others. The information section tells you everything about this project. What this project is, what features it brings in, how this project works, how to use it and what are the prerequisites to run this project what actually do you need to run it and yes a few tips and a credit section as well all right we're done with the introduction now jumping into the demo of this project so I'm gonna use a secondary account with a friend's details to give you a demo as for Ngrok I'm gonna be using his card details as well and afterwards the account will be deleted for sure let's jump into the complete demo I'm gonna do a 2x of this video now In the search bar, search shahzeb-yt and when you search it, go to the users section, it will be one user, go and follow it. After following, open the user and look for the uh, repository Enigmano Multi Instance. When you open it, uh, make sure to star it, favorite it or whatever the best term is and then you need to fork this repository. I've asked the co-pilot to tell me the first mandatory steps of this repository. It's time to fork the repository. I'm just gonna do it. Alright, now fork is completed. I'm just gonna go for the settings of this repository. And in settings, I will go for secrets and variables. Where we need to add two tokens. One is the GitHub classic token and the second one is from Ngrok. And here I'm gonna give it a name as secret underscore uh, shahzeb that's the name of github token that we need to add out 
select your profile go for the settings of your account and there look for developer settings within developer settings you will be able to see option to create personal access tokens where you will see an option to create a classic token now while creating the classic token I am giving the access of repo and workflow and name it as secret underscore shahze Now the token is generated, I'm just gonna make a copy of this token and go to the repository settings where I need to add this token and after adding this token as a secret, I'm gonna go for ngroc. So my auth token is generated but this is not gonna work, let me show it to you. First thing first, I'm going to go for the repository settings and add this ngrok token as a secret. I have named it ngrok underscore shahzeb and just gonna do it right now. After adding the token, I'm gonna save add secret. Now I have added both of the tokens and they are saved in the repository settings. I'm going into the actions tab of this fork repository. I need to enable the actions. Once done, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a test run to see if it is working or not. Here, it's gonna give me an error. It's not gonna get the TCP tunnel network. I will have to fix that as well. I'm gonna go to the ngrok and add a payment method as it is a must thing to have the TCP tunnel network up and running. I will simply do a rerun of this action and let's see how it goes. Alrighty, uh, it started working and gave me the host ID of the RDP network and a user and a password. 
I'm gonna use it to connect and now see the magic. Do not close this CMD window, just minimize it and you're good to use it. I believe this project was useful to you. Show some love by following me on GitHub, subscribing to my YouTube channel and yes, give a thumbs up to this video. If you need any support, just fill out the form in the description. Someone from my team will reach out to you. Take care guys. Signing off.